What's up, nerds? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Mousepad Company's Mousepad. I'm not going to get any points for creativity there, but uh, let's get right into it. If you're not already aware, the Mousepad Company has been the subject of recent controversy for presenting the construction of their Mousepad as proprietary, when in fact they're using the same surface offered by the Decanic Control for around half the price. This was brought to light notably by the review god himself, Boardsy, among others, which subsequently led to the Decanic Control selling out pretty much everywhere. Today, I want to take a look at what it is that the Mousepad Company actually does offer, if it's a competitive product, and if you should consider it for your setup. Let's get the obvious out of the way first. While design is a subjective review category, they do offer a number of different aesthetic options that, in my opinion, look quite nice. This is a large part of how they distinguish themselves, and in fact is the only way in which they distinguish themselves from the decanic control. But, we would be remiss if we failed to acknowledge that point. Whether or not design is a value consideration of yours in thinking about a mouse pad, and whether or not you actually like the designs are both entirely up to you. As far as construction, the pad has a sturdy rubber base, that is nice and sticky and it's not going to slide around on your desk. Definitely feels substantial and secure. The pad has nicely stitched edges which will be good for durability, but I am noticing a bit of fraying in one or two spots that I'll have to clean up. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be a problem. Um, I know there are people who don't like stitched edges, which I don't really understand unless they're like poorly done and raised much higher than the actual surface of the mat. But these sit nicely flush with the surface of the mat and they aren't going to be noticeable against your arm, which is definitely a good thing. Now let's move on to the actual surface. This is a roughly textured cloth surface, which you can see here. It certainly feels rough to the touch and could possibly irritate low sense arm aimers. Although I definitely fall into that category and I also have pretty sensitive skin and it hasn't really been a problem for me to this point. If you want something that feels smooth to the touch though, for whatever reason, this is not going to be the pad for you. As far as performance, I would say that this is definitely a slightly faster pad than most other cloth surfaces, but it does still offer you some of the control that you typically expect from a cloth surface. The texture on the surface provides for lower static or initial friction and a surprisingly smooth glide if you're using good mouse feet. Despite this pad feeling slightly faster than other popular control pads, it does offer some stopping power but obviously that's the trade-off that comes with speed. It does strike the balance pretty well for anyone not looking to go too far one way or the other in the directions of control versus speed, or for anyone who prefers a cloth pad but is looking for some extra speed. The top option fitting that description would definitely be the Artisan Raiden as the fastest cloth pad, and then the Artisan Hyan, but this surface fits in right after these two. This pad is not affected by humidity, and in my estimation, it seems to be built to last, but obviously I have not used it long enough to determine that. I can say that the Decanic Control has been around for a while, with no serious durability concerns regarding the surface, and the construction for the mouse pad company feels substantial, and the quality does seem pretty good to me. The real debate around this company boils down to whether or not you want to pay the premium for the mousepad company design. That's an individual value judgment I can't comment on. I like the designs, but I don't necessarily think they're worth the premium in and of themselves. But for $40 in a vacuum, this is a good mousepad that will suit a wide variety of playstyles. Additionally, the Decanic Control is sold out pretty much everywhere right now, so the mousepad company might be the only game in town with respect to this surface, at least for a little while. In any case, I think this is a solid product overall. I think the only real controversy comes from the discussion around value and any claims of proprietary development marketing wise. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Be happy to answer them in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.